Awake brain surgery is a type of neurosurgery where a person is kept conscious and aware during the operation. This type of surgery requires the patient to cooperate with the surgeon during the course of the procedure, as it is crucial for the surgeon to be able to monitor the patient's brain function in real time. By keeping the patient awake and responsive, surgeons are able to ensure the safety of the brain's delicate structures. In some cases, it is not possible to perform brain surgery without the patient being awake. This is especially true when removing tumors that are located close to functionally important areas, such as areas responsible for movement, language, and vision. During awake brain surgery, surgeons can communicate directly with the patient and ask them to perform tasks to verify which structures are safe to remove. This allows for a more precise and tailored operation, improving the patient's outcome. The procedure for awake brain surgery is the same as traditional brain surgery, however the patient must remain conscious throughout. Before the operation, sedatives and anesthetics will be administered to the patient to ensure their comfort. During the procedure, the patient will receive a mild sedative to help them remain calm and relaxed, as well as local anesthetic to the site of the operation. The surgeon will use imaging technology to guide a device through the patient's brain, allowing access to the desired area of the brain. The main benefit of awake brain surgery is the ability of the surgeon to monitor the patient's functioning during the procedure, allowing for a tailored operation with minimal risk to surrounding neurons. By remaining awake and responsive, the patient can also provide feedback to the surgeon throughout the operation, helping to keep the patient safe. The procedure itself is also less invasive than traditional brain surgery, as the patient does not need to be put under for the entirety. Awake brain surgery involves performing surgery on an awake and responsive individual, so there is an increased risk of neurological side effects. The most common side effects are temporary confusion and slurred speech, which usually subside shortly after the procedure. However, more serious side effects can occur and may include seizures or permanent neurological deficits. In rare cases, death can result from the procedure, but this is very unlikely.